will not lie. All that you saw, whether with uh, APC presidential candidate Ahmed Tinubu, we met with him, including our brother who had to go back to America on his vacation. Uh, we also met with the former president and presidential candidates of the <coughs> Labour Party. We met with our presidential candidates. For us, we are looking at the larger picture. Nigeria today is in distress. What can we do? No man or woman alone can get it right for our country. We are looking at how we can harness ideas and put ourselves together to ensure that we get out of the present challenge we are in in Nigeria today. Nigeria is in distress, there's no doubt about that. From top to bottom, consider what was happening in 2015 and where we are today. So it is a concern that we have for our country, Nigeria. So this is beyond partisan politics. We are looking at how we can come together and find a way of ensuring that Nigeria survives. Nigeria is on drip. Nigeria is on oxygen. And how can we get out of this? So this is the whole thing about the consultation is going on. Nothing very concrete to tell you that this is what we have concluded. The consultation is going on and we continue to go on. We are still going to meet here. We are still going to meet uh, some other time and see how we can work to ensure that the project Nigeria works. Uh, we must find a way to rescue our country. Um, not only for this generation, but for our children and grandchildren. And uh, this is a country with great potential. And we have people everywhere. And uh, we think that it's important uh, we engage across board. We're also looking at uh, speaking with civil society organizations and those who have idea and like partisan differences we have. And uh, going forward, I think uh, the interest of Nigeria is paramount. We met with the Revolution Canada of All Progressive Congress. We met with uh, our leader, former president of uh, Nigeria, Chibonishu Abbasunjo, and the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Uh, we also met with our own presidential candidate. And uh, I can say confirm this is the first time as the team we are meeting with the presidential uh, candidate. So you can see all those uh, rumors and this and that. But for whatever it is worth, like I said, consultation is ongoing. Uh, what we are talking about, like I said, is for the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. Uh, it's not uh, uh, any interest in a parochial, you know, being centered on one person or a group of uh, persons. So we believe that what is going on, it will be for the interest of Nigeria at the end of the, at the, end of the day. Uh, consultation, like I said, is still ongoing. Uh, nothing quite, we can say now that has been concretized. Uh, discussions are going on, and we believe that whatever that's going on now is for interpretation. You don't never mind some people who do not believe in the existence of this country. Some people who are just interested in their own. Some people who only know how to produce their own children as governors or members of national. Uh, <laughs> assembly. <laughs> it is a first that is the country where we are in. A man finishes to be a governor. Now what the man does again, how his own son will be a governor. And, and, and this is what has been part of the crisis we are having. You know, and it's, it's unfortunate. And these are the kind of people who say they are leaders of this country. What example are they showing as leaders of the country? What are they showing? The leadership is not about you. Leadership is not about you and your family. Leadership is about everybody. Somebody finishes eight years as governor. Somebody doing his own son to be governor. Doing his own son to go to the National Assembly. It's only in this part of the world that you can see that. When we're talking about poverty everywhere. 